Paris, 1967. The city was a vibrant tapestry of culture, art, and history, bustling with life and energy. The Cold War cast a long shadow across the globe, creating an atmosphere of tension and uncertainty that permeated every corner of the world. Yet, in a quiet corner of the City of Lights, a secret meeting was underway. It was a gathering that defied the prevailing winds of suspicion and rivalry. Soviet and American engineers, rivals in a global technological race gathered for a common purpose. They were united by a shared vision and a mutual respect for each other's expertise. Their mission to bridge the ideological divide and share expertise on a groundbreaking project. The development of the Soviet Union's first wide-body jetliner, the Ilyushin Il-86. This was more than just a technical endeavor. It was a bold statement of cooperation. This clandestine collaboration, hidden from the public eye, would shape the future of aviation. It was a delicate dance of diplomacy and innovation. It was a testament to the power of shared knowledge and the pursuit of technological advancement. The engineers knew that their work could transcend political boundaries. This meeting was not simply about blueprints and technical specifications. It was about building bridges and fostering a spirit of collaboration. It represented a shared vision for the future of air travel. A vision where innovation knew no borders and progress was a collective achievement. Both sides recognized the growing demand for larger, more efficient aircraft. They understood the importance of meeting the needs of a rapidly expanding global population. They understood that the future belonged to jumbo jets capable of carrying hundreds of passengers across continents. These aircraft would revolutionize air travel, making it more accessible and efficient. The Soviet Union, eager to prove its technological prowess, saw an opportunity to make its mark on the world stage. The IL-86 project was a matter of national pride and ambition. The IL-86 project was a matter of national pride. It was a symbol of Soviet ingenuity and determination. The pressure was on to deliver an aircraft that could rival the best from the West. The stakes were high and the world was watching. The Americans, for their part, saw an opportunity to foster goodwill and perhaps gain insights into Soviet engineering practices. It was a chance to build bridges in a divided world. This meeting, a brief respite from the tensions of the Cold War, underscored the interconnectedness of the global scientific community. It was a moment of unity in a time of division. It was a reminder that even in the darkest of times, collaboration could flourish. The spirit of innovation and cooperation could light the way forward. The 1960s witnessed a revolution in air travel. The jet engine, once a novelty, had transformed the industry. Air travel was no longer a luxury reserved for the elite. It was becoming increasingly accessible to the masses. The Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8, sleek symbols of progress, graced the skies. They connected continents with unprecedented speed and comfort. Airports bustled with a new generation of travelers eager to explore the world. However, this surge in demand brought new challenges. Airports struggled to accommodate the influx of passengers. Airlines faced growing pressure to increase capacity. The need for larger, more efficient aircraft was becoming critical. The Soviet Union, never one to lag behind in technological advancements, closely observed these developments. Aeroflot, the Soviet national airline, boasted an extensive route network. It connected the vast expanse of the Soviet Union and extended its reach to international destinations. Aeroflot recognized the need to modernize its fleet. It aspired to compete with Western airlines on the global stage. The Soviet leadership, eager to showcase the nation's technological prowess, threw their support behind the development of a homegrown wide-body jetliner. Section 4. Building the Soviet Jumbo. The task fell upon the Ilyushin Design Bureau, one of the Soviet Union's most prestigious aircraft manufacturers. Led by the visionary engineer, Genrik Novozhilov, the team embarked on a challenging journey to create the Il-86. The goal was ambitious, to design and build an aircraft capable of carrying over 350 passengers, significantly larger than any previous Soviet airliner. The engineers faced numerous challenges. The Soviet aviation industry, while capable, lagged behind the West in certain key areas. Access to advanced materials, particularly high-strength alloys and composites, was limited. The political climate, characterized by secrecy and bureaucratic hurdles, added another layer of complexity. Section 5. The Il-86 Takes Shape Despite these challenges, the Il-86 began to take shape. The design incorporated several innovative features. It was the first Soviet airliner with a double-deck configuration, allowing for increased passenger capacity. 
The aircraft featured a spacious cabin with comfortable seating and large overhead bins, setting a new standard for passenger comfort on Soviet flights. The wings, swept back at an angle of 35 degrees, were designed for optimal aerodynamic efficiency at cruising altitude. The aircraft was powered by four powerful Aviad Vigatel NK-86 turbofan engines, a testament to the capabilities of the Soviet engine industry. These engines, while less fuel-efficient than their Western counterparts, provided the IL-86 with impressive thrust, enabling it to operate from shorter runways. Section 6. Triumph and Turbulence the IL-86 made its maiden flight on December 22, 1976, marking a significant milestone for the Soviet aviation industry. This aircraft was a symbol of Soviet engineering prowess and ambition, designed to carry large numbers of passengers over considerable distances. The aircraft entered service with Aeroflot in 1980, deployed on high-density routes within the Soviet Union, and to select international destinations. It was a workhorse for the airline, handling the demands of both domestic and international travel. The IL-86 garnered a reputation for its spacious cabin and smooth ride, earning the nickname Camomile among Soviet passengers. Its design focused on passenger comfort, which was a significant selling point at the time. However, the IL-86 was not without its flaws. Maintenance issues and operational challenges were part of its story, reflecting the complexities of aviation technology during that era. Its fuel efficiency remained a concern, particularly as fuel prices rose in the 1980s. This economic pressure highlighted the need for more efficient aircraft designs. Its range, while adequate for domestic routes, limited its appeal for long-haul international flights. This limitation meant it couldn't compete effectively with other long-range aircraft of the time. The aircraft's safety record, while not alarming, was marred by a few incidents, including a fatal crash in 2002. These incidents, though relatively rare, cast a shadow over its operational history. Section 7. A Legacy of Collaboration Despite its limitations, the IL-86 holds a unique place in aviation history. This aircraft, with its distinctive design and robust build, was a marvel of its time. It was not just a plane, it was a symbol of Soviet ingenuity and ambition. It was the Soviet Union's first and only wide-body jetliner to enter mass production. This achievement marked a significant milestone in the history of Soviet aviation, showcasing their ability to compete on the global stage. It served as a symbol of Soviet technological ambition and played a crucial role in expanding air travel within the Soviet Union. The IL-86 made air travel more accessible to the Soviet populace, connecting distant regions like never before. The secret collaboration between Soviet and American engineers, while largely unknown to the public, highlights the importance of international cooperation in advancing technological frontiers. This behind-the-scenes teamwork was pivotal in overcoming numerous engineering challenges. It serves as a reminder that even in times of geopolitical tension, shared goals can bring together the brightest minds from different corners of the world. These collaborations often lead to breakthroughs that benefit all of humanity. The IL-86 stands as a testament to this spirit of collaboration, a legacy that extends beyond the Cold War and continues to inspire innovation in the skies. Its story is a powerful example of what can be achieved when nations work together towards common goals.